in terms of uh, preparing the infusion so we have to decide which medication to use and what dose range to use for example dopamine at 10 microgram per kilogram per minute infusion is a plan to start uh, some medications like morphine or medazolam may need a loading dose at the start so that the effect is uh, appropriate we should determine the strength of the available formulation this can vary from country to country it depends on the manufacturer so be careful to have your own units formulary where possible but of course you don't need to be bogged down by that the pharmacy can check that for you as long as you don't prescribe in ml you should be prescribing the dose in milligram of the drug to be used so uh, you mention the diluent that you want to use and the exact milligram of the drug you want to add in the diluent to make the proportion of infusion but you don't uh, prescribe the ml of dopamine for example so if the strength of the formulation is dif different you would not be confused by that so it's very important that you remember that especially when you are moving jobs or moving from one unit to the other so we should determine the concentration of medication you want in the infusion so this is often guided by the formulary and different formularies have different uh, approaches but most of them follow a similar principle uh, if you have a normal fluid intake uh, you may prepare a more dilute formulation while if you want to restrict it fluid intake you should concentrate it as allowed if the dose is higher obviously the volume will go high if it's a diluted formulation so better that you use a concentrated formulation so an example is the use of single or double strength morphine the same applies to insulin for example or many other medications where the dose goes high you think about concentrating it so you don't waste uh, your valuable fluid intake on the diluents used so for dopamine for example usually it's at a strength of 1000 microgram per ml or 2400 microgram per ml and most units settle with 2400 microgram per ml as a standard unless you have a specific reason to use this so the amount of drug to add will depend on the strength as we discussed so if you want uh, 1000 microgram is 1 milligram and if you are talking in terms of nanogram 1000 nanogram is 1 microgram so uh, remember this as well and for dopamine 1000 microgram per ml uh, that is the strength I showed you here 1000 microgram per ml or 2400 so 1000 microgram per ml would need 1 milligram uh, of the drug for each ml of the solution you want to prepare so you have to choose the diluent usually for dopamine it's normal saline or 5 or 10 percent dextrose according to your preference and if you want to prepare an infusion volume of 25 ml we need to add 25 milligram of dopamine uh, to make 25 ml so when we say to make 25 ml it's to have a total volume of 25 ml so for the 2400 microgram per ml we would need to add 2.4 milligram per ml and uh, if you are preparing 25 ml 2.4 times 25 will be 60 milligram of the medication so you can easily remember that when we prescribe dopamine infusion the common used uh, strength is 2400 microgram per ml and you need to add 60 milligram this is irrespective of the weight of the baby so this kind of uh, formulation is easier to use and uh, we would need to add the usual formulation of dopamine that we have uh, is uh, 400 milligram in 10 ml uh, that is the equivalent of 40 milligram in 1 ml so to get 60 milligram we need to add 1.5 ml of the medication and we need 23.5 ml of the diluent like saline uh, to make 25 ml of the infusion with the strength of 2400 microgram per ml i hope uh, this part is clear so what does 1 ml per hour of the infusion equal in microgram per kilogram per minute so this uh, we have both ways of looking at it we need to know whether the infusion rate uh, particular infusion rate is at what dose and the other way around if you uh, know the dose you need to calculate how many ml per hour you need to give so a simple way to approach this you convert the total dose of the drug added to the syringe in microgram in the example I gave you of uh, 2400 microgram per ml it's 60,000 microgram in 25 ml you divide this 60,000 by the patient's weight assume we have a weight of 2 kilograms it's 30,000 and uh, divide this number by 60 which is the number of minutes in one hour so you are getting it per minute so 30,000 divided by 6500 and we have to divide 500 by the total volume in the syringe to get uh, 
how much is in 1 ml so the infusion rate of 1 ml per hour so 500 divided by 25 is 20 microgram per kilogram per minute so 1 ml per hour will give you 20 microgram per kilogram per minute so we adjust the rate of infusion according to the dose you need so if you need 5 microgram per kilogram per minute it is one fourth of the uh, 20 microgram so it will be 0.25 ml per hour infusion rate to reach that if you need 10 microgram it will be double of that so 0.5 ml per hour and if you need 20 microgram it's 1 ml per hour so this is how you calculate the rate of infusion once you know the strength of the solution so going the other way around i mean how do i calculate the rate in ml per hour to deliver uh, x microgram per kilogram per minute so you know the do microgram dose that you want to give and you want to know how many ml per hour so suppose we want to give uh, 5 microgram you simply multiply that dose by the weight so two, uh, the weight assumed is 2 so 5 times 2 is 10 and then you multiply this number by 60 for uh, 1 hour so 10 times 60 is 600 and divide this number by the drug dose in the syringe so we calculated 60,000 micrograms so 600 divided by 60,000 is 0 0.01 and you have to multiply this by the total volume in the syringe that is 25 ml so 0 0.01 times 25 is 0.25 ml per hour so this gives you the same as we got earlier so for 5 microgram it's 0.25 ml per hour so it's basically the reversing the same process all you need to understand is that you need to know the total drug dose in the total volume and then you get the ml per hour and according to that you can calculate the dose that the patient needs to receive.